everyone, welcome back to At Home Science. Today we're going to talk about density. And density is equal to mass over volume. And what this really means is how tightly packed the particles in something is. So for example, if I have this lead piping here, it's really, really heavy. So the particles are really, really tight together. Whereas something like styrofoam is pretty light. So those particles of styrofoam are kind of more farther apart and it makes it a lot lighter. And this can tell us something about the buoyancy of these objects. So for this experiment, we're gonna test out the buoyancy of two different balls. The first one is a bowling ball, which is really heavy. And the second is a golf ball, which is pretty light. So for a second, I want you to think, which one of these balls do you think will float in my bucket of water? Now that you have your hypothesis or your guess of what's gonna happen, there's only one way to find out. So we're gonna test it out. So first, I'm gonna drop my golf ball in the water and it sinks. Next, we're gonna do our bowling ball and we're gonna see that it actually floats. So what's happening here? So why did our bowling ball float? The only way to really find out is to see what's inside of our bowling ball here. So let's open it up. Hiya! Perfect. So now that we have our inside of our bowling ball, we can see that a bowling ball isn't very dense on the inside. There's actually a whole bunch of air holes inside. So the inside is actually different than this outside layer, which is pretty dense. So our golf ball, on the other hand, it has a lot more dense of an inside. So whereas our bowling ball has a lot of these pores and these air pockets, our golf ball sometimes are made of concrete, which doesn't leave a lot of room for air, or it's made out of tightly wound wire or roping that makes it really heavy and that's why it sinks. What about cola and diet cola? Do you think either of these will float or sink? Make a hypothesis. Let's find out. So why did our diet cola float, but our non-diet cola sink? Well, let's think of our density equation here. We have the same volume here, but the mass is actually a little bit different. And that's because regular cola has a lot of sugar in it. In fact, it has 42 grams of sugar, whereas our di diet cola has none. So that makes a difference in the weight, and that's why our cola sinks. So now it's your turn. I want you to try this experiment at home. And all you have to do is gather a bunch of supplies and see whether they float or sink. And you can refer back to your density equation to tell you this. So if the density of something equals one, that means it has the same buoyancy of water. If your density is higher than one, that means your object will sink. So in that case, the golf ball. If your density is lower than one, then it's gonna float. Let's extend on this a little. So we're gonna do another experiment and this is called a density tower. And all you need for this is a variety of solutions you might have at home. So it can be vegetable oil, we've got some syrup, some soap, some honey, anything you have. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer these substances into our tube, any cup you have that will work. And we're gonna see where those layers end up. Now we're gonna start with water because remember the density of water is one. And then we're gonna see where the other eight layers end up. So here's our water. So remember this is one. So next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab some corn syrup and we're gonna see where that goes next. So if I pour this in, you can see that this one is more dense than water and it ends up on the bottom layer. So I'm gonna keep layering and we're gonna see what happens. So our oil you can see is on top of our water layer. So this is a little less dense than water. Our honey has ended up right on top of our corn syrup. So again, a little more dense than water, but a little less dense than corn syrup. Now that's pretty neat. You can see our soap kind of bubbled up and made this weird layer in between water, and it's now almost sinking below water. Now finally, I've got some food coloring lying around, so I'm gonna add this on to add some color and make it look a little bit cool. Oh, we've got our rubbing alcohol too, so let's try that out. All right, so our, our rubbing alcohol is actually colored. So you can see that the rubbing alcohol is actually our top layer here. So it's on top of the oil, which is really interesting. So let's take a closer look. Let's zoom in. 
So now that we're up close, we can actually see the distinct layers of everything we put in here. From the bottom, we've got our corn syrup, followed by our honey, followed by our soap, and then we have our food coloring. Now that middle layer, if you remember, was our water. So that's our, our density of one. And then right on top of that, we've got oil, followed by our rubbing alcohol. So this is really neat. And if I were to shake this up and leave it for a couple minutes, which I'm gonna do, we can see that these layers will kind of separate themselves again. And this is a really neat experiment to add. And that's our at-home science experiment all about density. Have fun.